Uh, what's up guys, Jeff Gray, GRG Fit. Just finished my heavy leg day. If y'all ever wanna watch my workouts or do like a walkthrough video of some of my workouts, I'll put those together. Just leave some comments below. Uh, did some heavy squat, heavy back squats. Then I did some vertical leg press. Then I supersetted some sissy squat with some uh, sprinter lunges that I got from uh, Athlete X to hit more of the glutes and hamstring, more of the backside on the lunges. Uh, did some box jumps and superset that with some jump rope, just a couple sets, and then finished with some leg extensions, leg curls, and some standing and seated calf raises. But that's not what the video is about today. I kind of wanted to rant a little bit about uh, gym etiquette and not being a douchebag in the gym. Uh, there's a lot of guys around. I've seen this a lot recently, so that's why it's on my mind. But your training is not more any more important than anyone else's training. Uh, you might have more specific goals. You might be prepping for a physique show, a bodybuilding show, a powerlifting, weightlifting meet, something like that. So you might have a very specific training regimen and rest times and you might be much more on top of your training and stuff but realize that if you're in a public gym everybody's there trying to improve everybody's trying to get better regardless of where they're at on their journey so don't be an asshole don't be rude or make fun of people that don't seem to know what they're doing you know help them out at one point you were the new person in the gym and didn't know what you were doing so don't be that guy don't be rude uh, don't leave your weights on the machines for other people to unload, especially people that maybe not be able to actually lift or move the 45 pound plates. I see this all too often, especially on the weekends. People just leave two, three, four plates on each side of a machine, which is bad for the machine and bars for one, and then it's just rude you know, for everybody else that's wanting to use anything. So don't do that. Uh, it's fine to be intense. I'm definitely one of the guys that tends to have his headphones in and keep my head down and just get my workout in and get out. But at the same time, you know, if somebody's wanting to work in or talk to me or, or make eye contact, and I'll take my headphones out and talk with them or let them work into the machines or ask to work in with other people. Just don't be rude. Don't be an ass about it. Most people are really friendly and really nice and aren't going to mind that kind of thing. Uh, on a side note with that though, if you're a newbie and you're wanting to do squats and let's say that all the squat rats or squat racks are taken or something and there's a couple guys or there's one guy that's squatting like three or four plates and you can barely squat one plate, you might want to pick somebody else to work in with or wait till they're done because that is going to be a little bit of a hassle. Uh, that'd be my only advice on that, but most people aren't going to care if you want to work in, uh, especially on machines where you can change the pins really easily. You just change the weight, do your set, move it back to where they had it. Just be considerate about that kind of stuff. But Just don't be rude. Don't be an asshole. Definitely. You can be intense and have your headphones in. Just be nice still. Uh, considerate, I guess, of the public around you like society has a problem with nowadays. Uh, don't grunt and groan and make a lot of slamming noises over exaggeratedly or unnecessarily. This guy the other day was making me laugh because he was doing just some dumbbell concentration curls. But he was like screaming on every rep and it was very distracting for people, I could tell. And it was making me laugh actually. But uh, for other people it is very distracting and slamming rack pulls with 135 when it's not really even very heavy. You know, just so people are looking at you, I guess, or something. Uh, on every rep. <laughs> don't do that kind of stuff. And, uh, don't like another gentleman that wears, uh, sunglasses. It's about 8 or 9 p.m. usually when I go in in the evening a lot of times. And, uh, he's wearing sunglasses through the whole workout, has his headphones on, and won't acknowledge you if you try to ask him anything or work in or ask if he's done with the machine or something. He's just kind of a rude dickhead. So don't be some of these people, guys. Just, uh, be considerate. Work in with people, you know, share the machines. It's his public places. Uh, if you're really that worried about it and you don't want anybody bothering your rest and your machines and your working sets and all that good stuff, just uh, go more during hours when it's going to be slower and there's not as many people around, not in the prime time hours. Uh, like, for instance, on the weekends, I'll wake up 3 or 4 in the morning, I can't sleep anymore, and I'll just go ahead and hit the gym and get it done. I'm usually about the only one here, so it's pretty nice.
But that's it for this one. Uh, I've just been noticing some of that lately. So just be nice out there, guys, and learn to share everything. If you have any comments or questions on that or suggestions, leave them below. If you've seen any things that bother you or some of the things I didn't cover maybe in this video, feel free to leave them below. But uh, that's going to be it. Join, Rise, and Grow. Uh, JRG Fit. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that little bell, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to probably put up another video this week uh, about personal trainers and what to look for. And just because they are a personal trainer doesn't mean they know what they're doing. So check that one out. I should have that one up maybe a day or two after this one. I'm going to try to record it today or tomorrow. That's it. Catch you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Check out Tiger Fitness for all the subs that I like to use below. Catch you guys later.